Radiotherapy cures more people of cancer than any drug, but it has a fundamental problem. Once an X-ray beam enters the body, it just keeps going. The latest machines shape the beam to fit the tumour, but surrounding healthy tissue still receives a dose of radiation. And that's particularly important if the tumour is next to a critical organ or if the patient is a child. They're more susceptible to the effects of radiation. That's why some doctors are excited about the potential for proton beam treatment. Protons are tiny particles found at the centre of every atom. Just like X-rays, the beam can be shaped to fit the tumour. But once they hit their target, they stop. They don't carry on through the body, reducing the chances of damage to other tissue. Now, there are 43 proton beam treatment centres around the world, but just one in the UK, a low-energy machine suitable only for treating eye tumours. The NHS refers some patients abroad for treatment, 122 in 2013, 99 of them children. Patients are assessed by a panel of experts who look at the tumour type, position, severity and so on. But the NHS is setting up clinics in London and Manchester that will treat around 1,500 patients a year from 2018. So why has the NHS been so slow in the uptake? According to Cancer Research UK, the treatment isn't a magic bullet. Although it reduces side effects, there is a lack of good evidence that patients treated with a proton beam are more likely to survive than those given advanced X-ray treatment. And it's too new to know whether children treated with protons have fewer long-term side effects. The NHS will carefully follow up patients to answer some of the unknowns. That doesn't help in Asher King's case. His doctors and parents are having to make difficult judgments based on limited evidence.